last, when your mother was with child, she developed an unusual appetite. She took one look at my beautiful garden and told your father that she, what she wanted more than anything in the world was greens. Greens, nothing but greens, parsley, peppers, cabbages and celery, asparagus and watercress and little burn and lettuce. He said, all right, but it wasn't quite because I caught him in the autumn in my garden one night. He was robbing me, raping me, rooting through my rooted bag, raising through my arugula, ripping through my refuge, my champion, my favorite. I should have laid a spell on him right there. Could have turned him into stone or a dog or a chair. But I let him have the rampy and I had lots to spare. In return, however, I've said fair is fair. You can let me have the baby that your wife will bear and we'll call it square. I thought I had been more reasonable, but how was I to know what your father out house will hid in his pocket? You see, when I had inherited the garden, my mother warned me that I would be punished if I were to ever lose any of the beans. The special beans, I let him go. I didn't know he'd stolen my beans. I was watching him crawling over the wall when bang, crash, and the lightning flash. Well, that's another story, never mind. Anyway, at last the big day came, I made my claim. Oh, don't take away the baby, they screeched. But I did. I hit her well, she'll never be reached. Your father cried, your mother died. But for extra measure, I admitted it was a pleasure. I said, sorry, I'm not mollified. I laid a little spell on them. You too, son. That your family tree will always be a barren. So, there's no more fuss, there's no more scenes, and my garden thrives, you see my nectarine. But telling you the same, I tell the queens, don't kings and queens, don't ever ever mess around with my greens, especially the beans.